guys, I am back to film my mid-month reading wrap-up for the month of May 2020. This one should be quicker because there's nowhere near as many things that I read <laughs> this first half of the month than I did last month. I think I burned myself out like last month, which is why there was just not as much reading so far. Granted, now I'm in the middle of two readathons at the same time, so I think the end of the month will be a lot crazier, which is why I'm still gonna space this out, even though there's not as many for this first half. Uh, so first off, I'll just talk about the books, and then I'll talk about the manga. So I ended up reading The Night Country, which is the second book in the Hazelwood series, if you will. Um, my buddy read this from Shay, from Shay Geeks Out. Her link is always in the description down below. Um, I ended up getting this version because it was the Bards and Nobles exclusive, and it was just really freaking pretty. But this is basically the continuation of the Hazelwood. I'm not sure. It's always hard to talk about as equal when you don't want to mention, like, what happened in the first book. But basically, um, Avery helped Alice escape, like, her situations from the first book, and now this is kind of like Alice, um, starting over again after the events that happened in the first book. Um, trying to live, like, a life where she's not, like, it's not, like, magic-filled, it's just, you know, being, like, a normal person. Um, and then you also have, um, Avery Finch, who's the one who helped her, like, what's going on with him, who ended up choosing to stay in the other world that, uh, she was originally from. So it's them, and then the, they're do two different sides, and then, of course, threat looming because this is fantasy and, you know, it's never not a threat. So, um, them trying to basically save the world. It's really good. I very much enjoyed this. Um, I liked the first one. This one was dark. So if you don't like dark, they're both dark, but I think this one got even darker, but <laughs> I thought it was really neat. So, and I enjoyed like the fantasy, like fairy tale type aspect to them both. So if you like reading books that have that kind of aspect to it, but with a darker undertone to it, Hazelwood and The Night Country are a really good read together. So I've got that one. Um, I also read Seafire, which was my random TBR jar pick for this month, since I was like terrible last month and didn't read did I read any of the books I pulled out of my TBR last month? Maybe one. I don't remember. I was terrible last month with that. I read, but... So this is... This was... <laughs> this was an interesting one. So this is basically about a girl... Her... F so... Female pirates, which I was super excited for. So a warlord kills her parents and kidnaps her brother. And like... How many years later? Uh, I don't know. Like, five, six, maybe years later, um, she has got her own crew and her own ship, and um, it's just a crew of female pirates, and they basically are trying to usurp <laughs> the overlord who destroyed her family beforehand, and, like, take down his operation, essentially. Um, so... I really, I wanted to like this because it sounds, like, super cool, but, like, I didn't really connect with the main character, which is a big problem when she's the main character, because she was just kind of, like, she was trying to be, like, super strong, but she kept, like, doing stupid decisions, and she kept, like, getting her crew in trouble, and it was just like, oh my gosh, woman, just think, think, and she just would not think, so it was kind of, like, driving me nuts what was going on with her, and you were like, why did she just do that? Oh, now they're in trouble again, because she just did that. So, yeah. And then, so it's, I think, a trilogy. So I'm trying to decide if I want to read the second one, because basically, the second one, the thing that kind of, like, got me through this one was her, I liked her crew. Like, her best friend and the crew of her ship, I really enjoyed them. I didn't really care for her. And so... Um, the next one focuses more so on her than her with her crew, because something happens and she splits from the crew. And so I'm kind of just like, do I care about reading the second one? Because 
I just, I don't know. So I might see if my friend Ace wants it because she likes to read a lot of like female power books. So this might be one that you'd want to read because I'm just not sure if I want to continue into the next book in that trilogy. Then the last like book book that I read was actually a light novel. It's The Restaurant to Another World. I also read this from Wache. Um, so this is basically, it's so cute. So Otherworldly is a Kayonobu. If you've read that manga, you would love this. So this is basically like a guy who owns a restaurant and like every Saturday the restaurant becomes like a restaurant to another world and all these like creatures and people and lizard people and everything from the other world can go to his restaurant on every Saturday and like eat his cuisine. And it's just their stories and finding his restaurant and how they like food porny and it's just it was just cute I need to get more of it because it is it's I think there's like four or five out so this is only the first one but Shay and I both very much enjoyed it so that was a great read and so then I'm just gonna talk about the manga that I read I really didn't read that much um so I read the third volume of an incurable case of love this is a cute Jose, where basically uh, this nurse, when she was younger, well, she wasn't a nurse, she was just a girl, saw this, like, woman, I don't know if it was a neighbor or something, being saved by this doctor, and then she became, like, enamored with the whole situation, wanted to end up ultimately working for said doctor, ended up becoming a nurse, going to the hospital where he works, only to find out that he's kind of a dick. <laughs> but, um, it's they end up like it's their relationship together so and dealing with things like that it's they're so freaking cute together <laughs> they're just cute it's just super cute and it's nice to kind of have like an adult relationship there so that one was good i definitely recommend that one uh the next one i read was sacrificial princess and the king of beasts volume nine this one, I love this thing. This shoujo is super adorable. This is like, like this and Yona the Dawn are like kind of like up top for me because I really like the fantasy shoujos. Um, so this one is basically a human girl who is going to be the sacrifice for the King of Beasts, except he kind of became enamored with her and wanted to make her his bride. And it's her like trying to prove to all the... Um, like creatures of this kingdom that she's like worthy of being the queen and um this one focused mostly on her her friend and her crush on this guy and it was they're just super cute um they're kind of adorable and it's i i just everyone's so cute in this they're all just so like it's got some pretty art and she's i like the female characters and it's just awesome. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next volume, whenever that may be, because, yeah, um, manga's not coming out so much anymore right now. Um, so the next one I read is Our Horror Ride, volume 10. Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of in this one for the ride. Um, I think it ends pretty soon, which is why I'm just kind of like, let's just finish it off. I mean, it's not... I like the art, but it's not my favorite. So Futaba, basically the girl, encounters... Um, basically the story is is that she encounters a guy that she had a crush on when she was younger and he came, he like moved away, came back, and he's like a different person and she's trying to figure out like what's going on with why he's like that. And then of course, ultimately it's Shoujo, there's some issues, she ends up dating another guy and then it's them like doing this like class trip with the original guy realizing he still has feelings for her the other guy obviously has feelings for her and she's trying to figure out what the heck she wants and it's you know it's, it's just teen antics antics and it's fine but it's it's not my favorite shoujo so um the next one i read is seven little sons of the dragon this is a collection of seven stories this is weird. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna keep this one. I mean it was fine. I might see if like Bizarre wants it or something because it's just well, 
he might, because it's the storyteller behind the Delicious in Dungeon series, which he actually does enjoy. But yeah, it's just seven really random stories, and I mean, there were like werewolf stories, like this guy, like it being, werewolf being like a medical condition, and then like this artist who, like, his paintings could come to life if he, like, draws the eyes in, and, like, this fish ruler. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's a very odd one. It was interesting for what it was, but I, I don't think I'm gonna read it again, so there's that. And then last book that I read, yep, that's it, guys, um, was the eighth volume of Made in Abyss. I feel like this one is weird. I don't know what I think about Made in Abyss. I'm like trying to decide if, I guess, I have to figure out like how long this series is. I'm hoping that it ends soon because it's just like, it's weird. They're really, they've got some weird freaking fetishes in this, in this series. Like there's just some things that they're like very prone to like jokes about or something and it's just like, I don't know guys, why is diarrhea a joke? Um, but just is. So this is basically a girl who is trying to save her mother who ended up uh, going missing and there's like these layers of the abyss and the further into the layers you go the further you could potentially be killed because humans are not supposed to be down for far into the layers. This is actually like this doesn't have the main characters right now it's basically like a prelude to what originally happened so it's basically telling like the story of them originally finding the abyss it's it's fine it's a little like i don't think they needed this like this volume was not needed at all they should have just kept going with the original characters and not given us a side story maybe it means something later but to me i was just kind of reading it going i don't really care so there's that so that is basically everything that i read from 1 to 15 may um I've now started the Manga Love, Spring into Manga Love? Manga Love? Whichever one it is. Uh, the Manga Love Readathon hosted by Shay, and then Readorama Round 14. So I'm in the middle of those right now, so actually I need to pull some manga down and read it. Oh, maybe I'll read Hatsuharu today and catch that one up. Um, but yeah, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this wrap up for the first half of the month of May. I will see you guys later for the next video. Everyone have a very good rest of the day. Bye!